In this video, we are going to look at the 2023 Internal Mathematics Paper 2, Question 1. So, Question 1a says, express this expression as a single fraction in its lowest terms. Alright, first of all, let's rewrite this expression. So, we have 2 over 3m minus 2 minus 1 over 2m minus 3. So, they want us to express these two fractions as a single fractions. And when you look at these two fractions, the first fraction is subtracting the second fraction. So what you have to know is that you cannot add or subtract fractions if they have different denominators. So our aim is to make sure that these two fractions have the same denominator. In other words, you need to find the common denominator. How are you going to do that? So we're going to do that by using the concept of equivalent fractions. So we're going to multiply this denominator by this denominator. So we're going to have 3m minus 2. Okay, so what we have done on the denominator here, we also do it on the numerator here. So we're going to have 3m minus 2 over 3m minus 2. So... The value of this fraction has not changed because these can easily cancel and you still remain with the original fraction. Okay? So, we also do the same with the first fraction. We're going to multiply the, this denominator by the denominator of the second fraction. So, what we're going to have is this. Uh, 2m minus 3. So, 2m minus 3. Again, what we've done on the denominator, we also do it on the numerator so that the value of the fraction remains the same so 2m minus 3 all right multiplication is commutative so what we are going to have here is 2 times 2m minus 3 over 2m minus 3 3m minus 2 then minus this 1 3m minus 2 over the same 2m minus 3, 3m, 3m minus 2. All right, so you can see that this denominator is the same as that denominator. So meaning these two fractions can easily subtract. So what we are going to do now is we are going to just get one of these denominators, okay? So we'll get one of these denominators. So 2m minus 3, 3m minus 2. Then write these numerators as they are, as they are appearing. Okay, so we have 2, 2m minus 3. Then this sign comes as it is, minus 1, 3m minus 2. So what is remaining now is just to expand and simplify the numerator. Okay, so we are going to have the denominators as they are so 2m minus 3 3m minus 2 then 2 times 2m is 4m then 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 so we are done expanding this negative 1 times 3m is negative 3m. So take note, I'm multiplying together with the signs. Then negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. So we collect like terms together. So you have 4m, positive 4m here and minus 3m. So 4m minus 3m is just an m. Then negative 6 plus 2 is minus 4. So remember we have the denominators down here. 2m minus 3, 3m minus 2. So when you look at this fraction, it cannot be simplified further. Meaning we have written this expression as, as a single fraction like this. So this is the answer. If you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Why can't you subscribe, comment, hit the like button, and share? B says, 
Solve the equation 3x squared plus 13x minus 7 is equal to 0, giving your answer correct to two decimal places. So let's just rewrite uh, this equation. So we have 3x squared plus 13x minus 7 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. So for us to solve it, there are many methods that we can use. But since they have not restricted us on which method we should use, we are going to use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is as follows. x, because we are looking for the value of x, so we are going to say x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Then everything divided by 2 a. All right, so this is the quadratic formula. Now, our job is to find what B is, what A is, and what C is. Okay, so A is always the coefficient of x squared. Okay, so A is this one here. So this is, this is A. A is always the coefficient of x squared. Then B is always the coefficient of of x then c is always this constant the term that has no variable so this is c so we can now substitute in the equation so we have negative b b is 13 so negative 13 plus or minus the square root of b is 13 so 13 squared minus 4 then a is 3 then c is negative 7. Then everything over 2a. I mean 2a is it? a is 3. So 2 times 3. So there is a 3 here. Okay. So we are going to have negative 13 plus or minus the square root of 13 squared is 169. Then negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 7 is positive 84. Then everything over 2 times 3 is 6. So we are going to have negative 13 plus or minus the square root of 169 plus 84 is 253. Then everything over 6. So we are going to have, so this will imply that x is going to be negative 13. Let's get the positive value of that. So plus the square root of 253 over 6 or negative 13. So in the first place, we got the positive. So we're going to get a negative now. Negative 253 over 6. So we'll have x is equal to negative 13 plus the square root of 253 is 15.095973 over 6 or negative 13. The square root minus the square root of this is just this same one. So minus 15. 0 0.095973 over 6. So we we'll have x is equal to negative 13 plus this. We are going to have 2.905973 over 6. Or negative 13 minus this is negative 28. 905973 then everything over 6 so have x is equal to when you divide this by 6 you have positive 0 0.4843283 or when you divide this by 6 you have negative 4.81766 216. 
So because they said you need to write your answer correct to two decimal places, it means that you are going to have x is equal to uh, 0. Point. So two decimal places, you have 1, 2. So the target value is this one. Check the neighbor. The neighbor is less than 5. So it means this value, the target value is not changing. So we have four, 0. 0.48 as one value of x. Or this one as well, we are going to have negative 4 point. So two decimal places, we have 1, 2. The target value is 1. Check the neighbor. The neighbor is more than 5, so it will be 4.82. So this is another value of x. If you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Why can't you subscribe, comment, hit the like button, and share?